In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is sorting the sentence. In this question, we're given a string array called sentence, which contains a list of words separated by a single space and each word consists of lowercase and uppercase English letters. And at the end of the word, there is a digit appended, which is part of the string itself, denoting the position it has to be appearing in the output. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example given to us. This is the input string S and this string contains alphanumeric characters. The numeric is present at the end of each word, representing its position inside a sentence. So this is 2, so this should be the second word inside the sentence. This is 4, so this should be the fourth word. This is 1, so this will be the first word. This is 3, which will be the third word. And after rearranging the sentence, this will appear first, this will appear second, this will appear third, and this will appear fourth. So let us store this numeric value and its associated word inside a hash map. So let's declare the hash map. So we start off by converting this input string into a words array by using the split method on the input string. So wherever there is a space, we separate the words. So the words array will look like this. Now we iterate through the words array from left to right. We start off with the first element and we reach the end of the array. So in each iteration, we have to access the last character in each word and add it into the key. Last character inside first word is 2. The last character is 4. The last character is 1 last character is 3. So we use a lint hash map to maintain the order of insertion and now we extract its respective word using a substring and in each iteration we also extract its respective substring. So second word is is, fourth word is sentence, first word is this and third word is a. So now we have the hash map ready. So instead of building a string let us build a result array and then we will convert that array into a string and return it. And now we are going to iterate through the entries inside the map using the entry set method and the entry object and we access one entry at a time. And now in each entry we are going to check the keys inside the map and add its value at that position inside the result array. So the result array is going to be at the same length as the words array. So there are four words which have to be added and the index position start from 0 until 3. So this is our second word right. The second word will be added at the first index. So get its respective value, respective value is this, so add it into the result array. So is this added here, now go for the next entry. Next entry, the key is 4, so its respective value will be added at third index. So 4 minus 1 is 3, so do key minus 1, so sentence is added at the third index. Now go for the next entry, next entry is 1, so add its respective value at the zeroth index. So this is added, go for the next entry, next entry is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, so add its respective value into the array. So now we have our final answer inside result, but we have to convert it into a string. So I'm going to use a string builder to form our string. So that string builder will be converted into a string using the two string method. So this is our string builder. Now we iterate through the result array from left to right. We add a space after each entry. So we added a space for the next iteration. Next iteration is this. Now add a space. Now go for the next iteration. Next iteration is a add a space. So until the last word you add a space and once you reach the last word you only add that word into the string builder using the append method. And don't add a space in the end and we reach the end of the result array. Now we have our answer inside a string builder. So convert the string builder into a string using the two string method. So this will be our final output. Now let's take a look at the Java program to implement these steps. Coming to the function, this is the function name and this is the input string as given to us. And we have to return a string as the output after shuffling them according to the digits present at end of each word. Let's start off by creating a words array by splitting the string wherever there is a space. And then using a linked hash map, I'm going to store the position that is the digit at end of each word as the key and its respective word as its value. For that, I'm going to iterate through the words array from left to right and I'm accessing each word at a time and calculating its length. Now I know the length of each word at a time. Now I want to extract the digit present at the end of the word. For example, if this is the word, I know the length. Now I want to extract this part of the word. So I'm going to store it inside an integer variable num and I'm extracting the last character from that word. So the last character will be present at the length minus one index position. And then using string dot value of, I'm converting this. This is a character, right? But this is part of a string. So I'm going to convert it into a string. So this is going to give me the digit as a string. So I have two now, but this is a string. So I'm converting it to an integer using the integer dot parsint method. So num has the value two inside it now. So I'm placing two as the key and I'm extracting that word. I'm using the substring method to extract the word. So which will start from zero until length minus one. 
so length is 3 length minus 1 is 2 so 0 to 2 is 0 2 so this will be extracted and placed inside the value now I have 2 as its key and its value will be is so that will happen for all the words present inside the words array and we have our final hash map present inside this map first I'm going to build our result using the result array and then from this array I'm going to build the string now I'm using the entry interface and I'm creating an object entry to access each entry inside the map so for example this is 2 right so I'm getting 2 and placing its respective word 2's respective word is this I'm placing it at its respective position index is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so 0 1 so inside the result array the second word will be is so the same thing will happen for all the entries inside the map and we have our answer inside result but we have to return a string so I'm building the string from this result array so instead of directly appending our result to a string I'm appending it into a string builder using the append method because the time complexity is better instead of concatenating words into the string now I'm iterating through the result array which has a final answer and one by one I'm appending it inside the string builder and each time I'm also appending a space because so if we don't place this if statement after sentence also there will be a space this space will be added this space will be added this space will be added and except after the last word space will not be added and now outside the for loop we have our result inside the string builder but we have to return a string so using the to string method I'm converting the string builder into a string and now we can return it the test cases are running let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this question is o of n where n is the number of words present inside the string s and the space complexity is also o of n because we are using a space of n words to build our map and solve the question that's it guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one